Good evening. Good evening. Hi. This is Hi, teacher. What's Good your evening. name? I am Morena Aguila. Nice to meet you, Morena. Nice to meet you too. And what's your name, mister? My name is Franklin, teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Franklin. Who else? Hello, good evening. My name is Jorge Hernandez. Nice to meet you, Jorge Hernandez. My name is Ruth Hernandez. We are cousins. <laughs> and what about the other two? Good evening, teacher. My name is Stephanie Pozuelo. Good evening, Stephanie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, some of you, uh, I have more people here in WhatsApp, so I hope that you will come later. Soon we will be starting, and I would like to know if you have get into the platform and check the lesson. Yes, teacher, I am um, finished the section number one. All the section good. number one. Good, that's good. Yes. Then what's what's the section what's the session about? Stephanie? Yes. What is the session about? About it is a fairly big, fairly big city. Yes, yes fairly big city, and adjective we before adverse. No, adverse before adjective. Adverse before adjective. <laughs> That's it. And uh, <laughs> I don't remember more. In conjunctions. Ah, yes, conjunctions. Yes, good. Now, let's start then. Um, ha have you made the exercises? The check knowledge? Yes, I made yes. exercise. Great. Yes. Great. Now, and uh, I, we will be. Uh, well, I, I have something to share with you. I made a PPT. Can you see it? This is about the lesson that you are... Uh, that you are uh, studying. So, Now, can you see the, the, the PPT, all of you? 
Yes. Yes. Yes, I see. Well, the PPT is uh, here is the, the name English Corporativo, which is the one that is. Uh oh. Now, in my name, Ruth Hernandez. Uh, the course is English Pre Intermedio, Modulo 3. And I would like to uh, share some reflections before we started. This is from Desiderata. Go placidly amid the noise and haste. And remember what peace there may be in silence. And day by day, I will be sharing you a piece of the desiderata so we can think about it and maybe we can implement it in our lives. So uh, any of you like silence? ¿Les gusta el silencio? So, so. Well, uh, also. sometimes there is so much noise around us that we cannot even think. So we had to, to find the peace in silence. Okay. Now. Only one dream. Yes. <laughs> Now, in, in section one, it's a very exciting place. That's the name of the lesson. And I place some uh, views. These are from El Salvador. And then the lesson objective is in this session, participants will listen to a conversation about city where adverbs before adjectives are used. Um, Edwin Humberto, could you read it, please? Edwin Castro. Hi, teacher. Hi, could you read? The lesson objective, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, in, in this section, participants will listen to a conversation about city where adverbs before adjectives are used. Good. Now, um, Franklin, could you read it, please? Okay, listen and practice. So, where are you from, Carmen? Now, from uh, Norma, North. could you be Carmen? Okay. Okay. Um, Carmen, I am from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Whoa, I heard it. That's a really nice city. Yeah, it, it is. The weather is red. And there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Good. Now we will change participants. Um, Jorge Hernandez, you will be Eric, and Claudia Ramos, you will be Carmen. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Price is pretty 
reasonable. How big is the city? It's a very big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I show plan and treat there sometime. Good. Now, lesson objective. In this class, participants will learn the uses of adverbs before adjectives. Um, Brenda, could you read it, please? Okay. In this class, participants will learn the usage of adverbs before adjectives. Okay. Uh, um, I forgot to tell you, I will suggest you to have a notebook. I know that most of the things are already in the platform, but uh, it is better if you practice the written with your own uh, hands, okay? Handwritten is better than just typing in order to learn. So, and, and I will be giving you some things that are not in the platform. For example, I give you here, uh, what is an adjective? Because we are learning how to use them, but uh, I also will tell you what is uh, that part of the speech, okay? So an adjective is a word or phrase naming an attribute added to a grammatically related to a noun to modify or describe it. En español, el adjetivo es una, es una palabra o frase que está dándole un atributo o que le añade eh, al nombre para modificar y describirlo. O sea, cuando ocupamos un adjetivo, estamos describiendo al nombre. Estamos diciendo una modificación del nombre, ¿verdad? Entonces, un adjetivo siempre va a ir acompañando un nombre. Y este, eh, esto se los voy a pasar si, si no queda aquí en la... En, En la plataforma se los puedo pasar por WhatsApp. Ustedes me dicen si lo prefieren. Bueno. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Pero, pero sí, sí, siempre les, les, les sugiero que a pesar de que ustedes tengan el material, tanto en la plataforma como yo les voy a pasar el, el PPC, que siempre traten de escribir ustedes en un cuaderno, porque eso les va a ayudar... O sea, el, el inglés es igual que, que la matemática. Entre más lo practica usted, más lo aprende. Okay. Now, adverb. Eh, Rodrigo, could you read it, please? Yes. A word or phrase that modifies or qualifies an adjective, verb, or other adverb or a war group expressing the relation of place, time, circumstances, matter, cause, degree, etc. Those are examples. Jensen, quiet, then, there. And here we have another example. Slowly, abruptly, joyfully, often, soon, never, tomorrow, Yesterday, always, here, there, out, everywhere, nowhere, away. Okay, those are some examples of adverbs. And here we have the ones that we have in the platform. Uh,
Adonai Portillo. Could you read it? Uh, the first one or, or old? Uh, the first two. Okay. So Juan is really nice. It's, it's really nice. It's a really nice city. Okay. It's, it's fairly, fairly big. It's a fairly big city. Okay. And as you notice, uh, the adverb is circle and the adjective is uh, under, under, underline, okay? Now, um, Claudia, could you read the other two, please? Claudia Ramos. Then, Janari Cortez, could you read the other two, please? Okay, teacher. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city, or the other, teacher? Uh, the other. Okay. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. Okay. Now, Vicky Martinez? Yes, teacher. Could you read uh, the last one, please? Okay. It's too busy and it's too crowded for me. Great. Now, uh, we have some adverbs here. Uh, could you read them, Mauricio? Garzona? Okay. Adverbs. Extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, somewhat. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of somewhat? Somewhat. Yes. Um, Algo, no? Algo. Algo. Por ejemplo, somewhat expensive. Algo caro. Oh, okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Teacher. Yes? I have a question. Tell me. Uh, what is the difference the pretty and fairly? Uh, it's the... Um, pretty, it, 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 here it is from the most to the least. So pretty is more than fairly. Okay, aquí va de, del mayor al menor. Entonces, extremely es el, el mayor. Very mm -hmm. va después. Really sigue después. Pretty, y después va fairly, en, y por último somewhat. Entonces, el, eh, la diferencia entre pretty y fairly es, es bien poca, pero, pero eh, es como un, un grado más pretty que fairly. Ok, thanks. Ok. Now, uh, some examples. Uh, Vicky Martinez? Yes, teacher. Could you read uh, the two examples, please? Okay. Um, her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Good. Thank you. Uh, if you notice, uh, everything is the same that you have already in, in your platform. But uh, I wanted to put it in a PPT uh, to have some uh, visuals for you. Because sometimes we learn more with visuals than only by reading okay, or listening. 
Now, uh, we have two, which means more than you want. Uh, uh, here is, there is a mistake. It's than, T-H-A-N, okay? Which means more than you want to, we usually use it with negative adjectives. So, examples. This dress is too big for me. You can see that it's not fitting, okay? Meaning the dress won't fit me. Uh, sometimes people think that uh, having more is better than uh, don't have it at all, but sometimes it's not that good. Now, uh, in the knowledge check, uh, you are supposed to be doing uh, the exercise in your in your platform have you done it hicieron el knowledge check 1.4 yes todos no teacher bien entonces este, yes, lo tienen lo tienen abierto ahí en su en su lo tienen abierto en, en, ahí en su computadora si no, ábranlo. Yes. Porque yes. lo podemos revisar ahorita. Vaya, el no le check este... Empiecen a hacerlo los que los que ya lo hicieron, solo vayan ahí y tenganlo abierto. Los que no lo han hecho, empiecenlo a hacerlo. Y cuando terminen me avisan. What session? Eh, session one eh, point four. No les okay. check. Okay, thanks. Who finished number one already? ¿Quién ha terminado el número uno ya? Mi teacher. Uh -huh. Read it, please. What so like? Is, is it an interesting place? Uh, I answer and the first one. Oh, really? It's a beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beach. Mm -hmm. 
teacher who what has a different I answer uh, uh, yes what, what do you want to ask uh, uh, the pronunciation b flyers what is the pronunciation the correct uh, beach. no no what beach es que playa oh, is beaches the... Mm -hmm. Beaches. 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 I see beach. Beaches. Okay. Repeat, please. Beaches. Be Beaches. like, 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 um, like the insect. Be chess. Okay. It, when you have. E E or E A, the pronunciation is like a long E. Now, uh, someone has a different answer from number one. Brenda? Do you have the same answer? We are checking right now. Rodrigo, do you have the same answer, number one? Don't worry if it's not correct. Right now we are just discussing which is your answer. I have the same answer. The same, number one? Yes. Who else? It's just, it is amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Well, that is the correct. Okay. Okay. And we, we, will, we will see why cannot be or really because uh, in the question you are asking como es Seúl is it an interesting place es un lugar interesante entonces si dice or oh, really it's like de verdad it's like uh, someone is telling you something and the other one is asking, not telling. Okay? Then, uh, why it cannot be a number two? Because it says, yes, I have. It says, sí, lo he hecho. Y ahí no le están preguntando si usted ha hecho algo o no. Okay? And the last one says, not really. Is, is also uh, giving an answer, not really. And, uh, but it's not what they are asking. So it is number three. Yes, it has amazing shopping. And the people are pretty friendly because it is asking, is it an interesting place? Yes, so, yes, it is an interesting place. It has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. So we have to choose the best answer for the question, okay? Now, number two. Okay. Uh, who wants to share their answers? Hi, teacher. Uh huh. Uh, read the question, please. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? Uh huh. Could it uh, be number one? No. Uh huh. No. And what about number two? No, no. No. I check number four. Number four. Uh huh. And why do you say that is number four? 
Uh, I don't see in the uh, not really. Uh -huh. It's too small and it is really boring. That's why I move away. Okay, that that's the, the that's the answer because do you like your hometown? Your hometown is where you uh, uh, were in that. Uh, uh, born or were ra raised, okay? Your hometown, mm -hmm. tu pueblo, tu, tu, donde, donde naciste. Mm -hmm. And for example, uh, Rodrigo González. Uh, yeah, tell me. Where is your hometown? My hometown is yes. uh, Sensuntepec, Cabañas. Nice. What about Veronica? What's your hometown? My hometown is uh, Cuscatancingo in, in San Salvador. Great. And Morena Aguila? What's uh, your my hometown? My hometown is Jucuapa, Usulután. Nice. And what about uh, Jorge Hernandez? My hometown is San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. And, uh, Janari Cortez? Me. Yes, teacher. No, What's I your think. hometown? It's San Rafael Oriente, San Miguel. San Miguel. Very hot. Yes. <laughs> but very, very hot. I love the people from... from from uh, the eastern part of the country. They, they are very um, friendly and they offer uh, hospitality to, to the people. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, I were there once. And what about uh, Norma de Leon? What's your hometown? Norma de Leon. My hometown is San Salvador. San Salvador, okay. Yes. And... Hilda Alvarado, what's your hometown? Hi. Hi. I'm sorry to be late because I have problem with my internet. Okay, don't worry. But I'm here. Yes, and, and, and you will have the, the video later. But uh, Hilda, nice to meet you. What's your nice hometown? To my, my? Your hometown. Tu oh. pueblo. Donde nací. Um, ah, I born in, in San Salvador. San Salvador, okay. Yes. What about Edwin Humberto? Okay, teacher. Uh, my hometown is Barrio La Vega, San Salvador. Good. And what about Frank and Mauricio? What's your hometown? Uh, my hometown is San Miguel, San Miguel. San Miguel. Do you yes. like your hometown? Yes, I like. It's okay. the most beautiful city in El Salvador. Yes. <laughs> you you will vote for... for, for uh, Will uh, Salgado. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 right now I'm living in Panama. I'm not in El Salvador. But now I'm more interested in politics than I'm used to be before. Now I, I, I know everything about politics in El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> well, and what's Sydney like? I've never been there. If you see, uh, here number one says, oh really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. 
It says oh really. Why do you say that it says oh really? Porque en creen serio. que dice en, ajá, de verdad o en serio. Porque le dice que él nunca ha estado ahí. I've never been there. Okay. That's right. And eh, Roberto Avendaño. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, could you read number four, please? Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Mm -hmm. And the answer? Uh, yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Excellent. Thank you. Now, uh, everybody has the same? Yes. 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 Now, send it, since it's okay. Do you notice? You already finished? Finish. Yes. One yes, point four. Okay. Now, um, let's continue with the PPT. Okay. Can you see it? Can you yes. see the PPT? Yes. Okay. Oh, no, 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 we see the platform. Wait, now you can see it. Yes, yes, now. yes. yes. Okay. now, yes, I see. Let's continue. We already had checked. Uh, 1.4 and now we have 1.5 um, Franklin Cermeño, please read it. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> That's some objective. In this session, participants will now identify, yeah? Identify. Identify. And I use identify. Identify. Okay. And use conjunctions such as and, but, though, and however. Okay. Conjunctions. 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 In English, uh, in English, uh, in English, la J. Se lee como que fuera Y la mayor parte del tiempo. Conjun conjunctions. Conjunctions. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Conjunctions. Uh -huh. no, entonces, eh, estas son palabras que sirven para unir. Ya sea palabras o en este caso son frases o oraciones también. Entonces, este en se ocupa cuando las oraciones son iguales. O sea, esto es así y asá. O sea, ya sea que son ambas positivas o que son ambas negativas. Pero son iguales. En cambio, con but, una es afirmativa eh, eh, positiva y la otra es negativa porque eh, esa es, significa pero en es y but es pero o sea tú puedes decir por ejemplo eh, mi esposo es feo pero súper cariñoso o sea, no me interesa que sea feo porque es cariñoso ¿Sí? entonces thought es otro otro tipo de conjunctions eh, que son también para unir positivos y negativos. O sea, el pensamiento positivo con un pensamiento negativo. 
Y también, however, es para lo mismo, para positivo y negativo. O sea, que el único que sirve para unir que sean iguales es and, o sea, y. Pero la diferencia entre eh, but, so y however es que so y however se ocupa al final de la oración. Y el but se tiene que ocupar entre medio de las dos que se están comparando. ¿Estamos bien? Yes. 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 Ok. Eh, volunteer. ¿Quién quiere leer qué es una conjunction? Me, teacher. Ok. Go ahead. Ok. Conjunction. A conjunction is a part of a speech that is used to connect words, phrases, clauses, or sentences. They are considered to be an invariable. Uh, how do you say invariable? Invariable. Uh, invariable. Invariable grammar participle and may or may not stand between either the conjunction. The conjunction. Uh -huh. It's what I explained. It can be in the middle or it can be at the end. But, uh, for example, N is in the middle, but is in the middle. However, and so are at the end. Okay? We will see the usage. Uh, here we have some examples. Uh, someone that reads number one, please. Volunteer. Me, teacher. Me. Okay, William. Hello, William Figueroa. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Conjunction. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. Okay. If you notice here, we have N because both are positive thoughts. It's an exciting city and we have a comma there before N. Okay. And now uh, Lilian Guevara, could you read uh, the next, please? Okay. It's a big city, but it is not too big. Okay, it's okay, but uh, when you have a contraction, you have to read the contraction. But it's okay how you read it, because it's the same. But uh, it says, but it's not too big, okay? Now, um, here we have positive and negative. It's a big city, but it's not too big. Okay. Es, gra es grande, pero no tan grande. Okay. And also we have a comma before but. Now, uh, Vicky Martinez, could you read next, please? Okay, teacher. It's a big city. It's not too big. However, uh, no, the, the third one. Uh, it's a big city, it's not too big, so. So, 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 it's like, so. A, como una zeta. Uh, so. So. Uh -huh. so. However. Uh -huh. And the other, uh, please. Uh, Mauricio Garzona, the last one. Okay. However. However, uh, uh, yes, but uh, we were reading the first, the, the other one was so. And however is uh, right now. Mauricio? Okay. It is a big city. It is not to be, however. Uh -huh. So and however uh, means almost the same. But uh, they are used for different 
different uh, positive and negative thoughts, but it, it, they are used, uh, both of them are used at the end of the sentence. Okay, not as but, but is used in the middle of the two comparisons. Okay. Now, here we have the use of and. Um, Sergio, could you read it, please? Okay, teacher, give me a second. Uh, we use and to connect to positive or to negative. Uh, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Uh -huh. I see that you are hungry. You eat something there. Read it again, please. Okay, teacher. <laughs> we use and to connect to positive or to negative ideas. Ideas. The series is ideas. ideas. Mm -hmm. The series is ugly ideas. and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Okay, good. Now, a any questions about the use of N? No? No. No question? No. Okay. Now, we have but. Who wants to read it? Maybe right now. Okay, go ahead. This one connects a positive idea with a negative idea. And it goes in the middle of the sentence and a comma. Goes before the conjunction as well. Mm -hmm. Example, the park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. Good. Now, any any questions about the use of but? Acuérdese que para español sería pero. Entonces, por eso está comparando dos cosas. O sea, eh, podrían decir, qué sé yo, me gusta la pizza hot, pero... No es buena helada. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hay pizzas que no se pueden comer heladas. Hay pizzas que se pueden comer hasta de la refrigeradora. <risa> ¿Verdad? Pero hay pizzas que no saben bien si están heladas. Entonces... Lirosita. <risa> yes. <risa> aquí, aquí en Panamá, increíble pero cierto. La pizza hat es horrible. Y la pizza Little Scissors es de las mejores. Ay, no. Sí, sí, pero imagínense. Es decir, really? Cuando, cuando nosotros vamos de aquí para El Salvador, sabemos que vamos a la Pizza Hut. Pero aquí, ni en sueño vamos a la Pizza Hut. Preferimos Little, Little Scissors. Es mejor. Yeah, Entonces, okay. Tenemos una pizza que, que yo creo que ustedes nunca han probado allá en El Salvador porque... La que era bastante parecida a esta era la pizza Capri, pero esa la cerraron justo antes de que yo me viniera, eh, que era de un señor italiano, la pizza Capri. Y aquí hay una que se llama eh, Giorgio's Pizza, que es bastante parecida a la pizza Capri, ¿verdad? Si alguna vez vienen a Panamá, se las, se las sugiero. Giorgio's Pizza es de las mejores. Ok. Si algún día vienen a Panamá, yo puedo ser su guía turística. Ok. Practice to practice. Sí. I ha, I, yo tengo dos días viviendo en Panamá, teacher. Oh, really? Where? Yes. Where do they, uh, do they live? Uh, in... Near to airport. Near to the airport. Yes. Uh -huh. eh, de, ¿Cómo se llama esto? Tocumen. 
Yeah, yes, yes. Um, okay. I live. That's, uh, 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 la barriada uh, uh, se llama las acacias. Okay. Panama has two sections. One is before the, the, the channel and the other is after the channel. After the channel, we have a, a downtown, the, uh, Panama City. Yeah. But before the channel is uh, Arraiján, La Chorrera, and all the other uh, districts. Uh -huh, uh -huh. In La Chorrera. You live in La Chorrera? Yes, before, uh -huh. before the channel. So to go to, to Panama City is a long way from here. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. near uh, to La Chorrera live uh, an aunt. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. In Arraiján. Yes. Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, then someday when you come here, we, we yes, may... but when I when I have the vaccine of uh, the, coronavirus the vaccination. <laughs> I guess that all of us will need that in order to travel <laughs> and get it because it's a good vaccination, the one that you will have. I would like to go to El Salvador to have that vaccination. Okay, now next. Uh, so, and however, the, these are the, the two I told you that go at the end of the, of the sentences. And here, uh, who wants to read it, please? Lillian, do you want to read it? Yes. Okay. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the at the end of the sentence. Mm -hmm. Example, it's a big city, it's not too crowded too. Mm -hmm. so, he's oh. a really good tall. Mm -hmm. He's a really good looking. He's not nice, however. Okay. And if you notice in the, if you notice in the, in the platform. Yes, teacher. Uh, you have, um, in the videos, you have things to do there. And when, when you see a video, you have a discussion part there where you have to write some things. And in this particular video, uh, 1.6, uh, could you go there please? I, uh, you can add here and, and, and write your answers. Okay. I put write your own sentences using M and but. Okay. And but. Mm -hmm. And or but. Uh, both two sentences. Both. And I, I made bo uh, the examples. He is a good man and he is also a hard working scientist. The number two, she is a good scientist but a bad wife. Okay? Now, uh, when you add yours, put your name instead of, uh, I, I put there, write your own sentences using N, but, okay? But when you add yours, here at the title, you write your name. In order for me to know who, who wrote the, the sentences, okay? Do you understand? Entendieron? 
Aquí donde dice título, van a poner su nombre. We don't see your uh, presentation or platform. We only see the PPT. Oh, sorry. I suppose he was... And now? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No, no. no. Wait. Heard the, the presentation so and so well. Ah, okay. Mm. Now, okay. One, one point yes. six video conjunctions. Here, uh, I have a, a discussion here. Wait. Wait. Here in the video conjunctions here, I write, when I add here, donde está aquí la pestañita está azul, usted le da clic ahí y entonces puede agregar, eh, en mi caso yo puse write your own sentences using and but. Y les di los ejemplos. ¿Ok? Entonces ustedes van a agregar aquí, cada quien va a agregar el suyo, pero en lugar de un título van a poner su nombre. Para que yo sepa quién fue el que escribió oraciones. Ok. One example for... For and, and, and one example that... for that. Uh, only en embat. Bueno, si quieren poner los otros dos son extra. Pero okay. me interesa en embat. For tomorrow, dice. Eh, cuando ustedes desarrollen ese punto. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Este, les quería decir que esta semana lo voy como a apretar un poquito. Eh, ¿Por qué razón? Son cinco se sesiones. ¿Verdad? Y tienen que ser cubiertas en cuatro semanas. Entonces, este, al principio yo pensaba hacer eh, sesión y un cuarto en cada semana, pero alguien me sugirió por ahí que mejor era hacer las dos sesiones al principio, o sea, la primera semana, las dos sesiones, para como quedar un poco más holgados para lo que continúa, para las siguientes tres semanas. Recuérdense que ustedes tienen que completar por lo menos el 80% antes de que se termine el, el módulo para lograr pasar el módulo. Entonces, es mejor eh, que cuando empezamos, porque por lo general cuando empezamos si tenemos como un poquito más de, de interés y cosas así, ¿verdad? Y entonces, para, para que ustedes complementen más luego esto, y no se vayan a quedar como cortos en el tiempo o cualquier cosa que vaya a suceder, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé si están si están de acuerdo o si prefieren ir un poco más lento. Acuérdense que esto, como la plataforma está disponible, es más, usted podría terminar en una semana todos los cinco secciones y solo quedándose participando aquí, ¿verdad? Porque es según su ritmo. Yeah. ¿Verdad? Pero sí, yo les sugeriría que por lo menos en esta semana trataran de hacer las primeras dos sesiones para que así ustedes ya llevan, qué sé yo, el, el 40% de lo que es la, la plataforma y ya solo les faltarían dos secciones más para tener el 80%. Lo mejor es que lo terminen todo, ¿verdad? Lo mejor es que lo terminen todo. Y, y entre mayor nota tengan también mejor por ustedes. Pero para pasar el curso deben de tener por lo menos el 80%. ¿Verdad? Y acuérdense que tienen que hacer todas las evaluaciones. ¿verdad? 
Este, yo creo que ustedes ya tienen, ya tienen, no hay ninguno que sea primera vez que esté inscrito, ¿verdad? Porque este es pre-intermedio módulo 3. Significa que ya, ya recibieron por lo menos dos clases, dos cursos antes. Entonces ya, ya saben cómo es el, el mambo. Sí, sí, yeah, correcto. Mambo. ¿verdad? Entonces, pero eh, parece que esto de, de las discusiones en, en, en los videos como que no lo habían trabajado anteriormente, ¿verdad? Teacher. Es una buena Teacher. forma. Dígame. I have a question. Yes. Uh, it's uh, a new for me. Uh, este, yo entendí la parte donde hay que poner nuestro nombre. Ajá. Aquí Pero el nombre lo, lo, y aquí ajá. abajo este, lo, que, lo que usted va a escribir, o sea, las oraciones. Aquí va a poner su nombre. Por ejemplo, ajá. yo tendría que poner Ruth Hernández. Y aquí las, las oraciones. ¿Verdad? ¿Cuántas oraciones tengo, tenemos que poner? Una por cada, por, por, para and y una para but. Ah, ok, que esté relacionado al, al tema, ¿verdad? Al, relacionado al tema del video, exacto. Ah, ok, y eso va a ser por cada video. Sí, por cada video. Ok. En, en, en cada video ahí, o sea, es como practicar lo que se vio en el video, ¿verdad? Y, y, que, y, y yo voy a estar verificando aquí. Eh, qué es lo que han hecho para decirles eh, en que, si están bien o si están mal. Ok, teacher, thanks. Uh -huh. You're welcome. And now, let's continue. We have another knowledge check. Tenemos otro ejercicio. ¿verdad? Este, lo desarrollamos, por favor, los que no lo han hecho. Y lo vamos a verificar siempre entre todos. Ok. Bueno, ya es la hora. Eh, yes. Los que no han trabajado en, en lo que son los videos y todo eso, háganlo detenidamente, ¿verdad? Lo pueden hacer ahorita si... Si quieren, uh -huh. o, o, pero a que estén listos para mañana, ¿verdad? Yo voy a estar revisando lo que hayan trabajado y nos vemos mañana a la misma hora. Y was a pleasure okay, to be with you. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Ok, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, friends. Good night. Good night.